High Speed Amplifiers Part 3 by Analog Devices Welcome to the training module on Analog Devices High Speed Amplifier Part 3. Today's outline consists of packaging innovation, high speed layout techniques, and a summary of the High Speed Amplifiers Part 3. Packaging plays a large role in high-speed applications. Smaller packages enable better performance at higher speeds and compact layout. The low distortion pinout also provides compact layout, streamlined signal flow, and lower distortion. The new high-performance pinout from analog devices is being used on many of their new high-performance op-amps. This pinout was introduced in 2003 with the release of AD8099. These op-amps are offered in two different packages, SOIC or LFCSP. The SOIC package is the standard 8-pin package that has been around for decades, but features a little twist. You can see they've added a dedicated feedback pin on pin 1 of the SOIC. This greatly simplifies PC board layouts. The pinout helps isolate the output from the load, which improves the capacitor load stability. The LFCSP also has a feedback pin. Here we have rotated the pins counterclockwise by 1. This isolates the non-inverting input from VS, which is a source of the second order harmonic distortion. Interstall has already released a product in the LFCS package and pinout. These packages also feature an exposed thermal pad which helps get the heat out of the package and keep the junction temperature down. This graph shows the same part die in both the SOIC and LFCSP package. As you can see, the part in the LFCSP package with the new pinout has a 14 dB and better second HD at 10 MHz than the SOIC. Here's an example of a traditional SOIC package and layout. The feedback path is routed around the amplifier, which as we discussed earlier can introduce parasitic inductance and cause trouble for the circuit if we're not careful. Notice what a difference the low distortion pinout makes in the layout of the board. The long feedback path has gone along its parasitic effects. Low distortion pinout enables compact and streamlined layout. This board encompasses many, if not all, of the points made in this layout section. This board clearly illustrates the desired layout of keeping the bypass capacitors and the low resistors close and minimizes the interaction of other currents flowing in the ground plane. Multiple capacitors are used on the power supply pins to maintain a good low impedance across a wide frequency range. The small paths are used to minimize the effects of parasitics. This is a very desirable layout for high-speed applications. In the first module, we introduced the basic knowledge of the high-speed amplifiers. High-speed amplifiers have bandwidths greater than 50 MHz. They have two different topologies, voltage feedback and current feedback. Noise gain must be distinguished from signal gain. There are three amplifier architectures with different performance. Using a resistor to isolate capacitive loading effects at an amplifier output is a good method to maintain performance and stability. In the second module, the issues in PC board layout design have been discussed. Here we highlight the key points in the PC board layout design. Our last slide provides more information on PC board design.